The E. Donald Thomas Lecture and Prize was created in 1992 to recognize research achievements in hematology. This year's honoree is Dr. Katie Rizvani, a physician scientist and renowned transplant expert. Dr. Rizvani shared her research on natural killer cells, a new frontier for cancer immunotherapy. The takeaways will be to make the audience uh, more familiar with the field of uh, natural killer cells, how and natural killer cells have the potential of impacting not only hematologic malignancies but potentially also solid tumors and really the advances that we're seeing in the fields of cell engineering, synthetic biology with the potential of big data, artificial intelligence, you know we live in really exciting times. I'm joined now with Dr. Aaron Gerds who's the editor-in-chief of ASH Clinical News. Dr. Gerds I know that ASH Clinical News has been very busy providing its own coverage of the ASH annual meeting. Where can people find that coverage? Well, uh, we've been very busy here out in the streets of ASH, uh, the ASH annual meeting, picking up all that coverage for, for all of our readers. All of our, our coverage will be on our website at ASH Clinical News under the kind of ASH publications uh, umbrella. As far as the January issue goes, how do you determine which presentations from the annual meeting are included or featured in the January issue of Ash Clinical News? Well, that just gets harder and harder every year. You know, there were almost 8,000 abstracts submitted to the annual meeting this year. We have a crack team of associate editors that scour all the abstracts upon submission, picking out their favorites. So I have to give a lot of credit to our editorial team, picking out these abstracts, and then we kind of go through them and say, you know, we want to bring to our, our, our readership a mix and a balance, right? Both classical hematology and malignant hematology stuff that's more retrospective, stuff that's, you know, practice changing prospective trials, and maybe even some obscure and rare diseases as well. So we try to come up with a very balanced presentation covering the breadth of hematology. We do have video coverage. We can see the backdrop here of where we're taping our on-site coverage for our YouTube channel as well as to distribute in our emails. Uh, we also have a Twitter handle that's been very active tweeting out uh, uh, highlights of the meeting as it's ongoing. And that combines and synergizes actually with our print and online coverage. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Gerds, and be sure to pick up your issue of Ash Clinical News to read on your plane ride home. Artificial intelligence is a hot topic in just about every field, and hematology is no different. So what are some of the challenges and opportunities with AI in hematology? This session was framed around how to apply AI in medicine. We had three great talks from Dr. Tong from the FDA. He gave us an idea how AI could be used instead of animal models to find new drugs and also uh, address side effects that we normally see with any new drugs. The second talk deals with ethics from Dr. Coley and she did a great job explaining to us how important it is to also look from the ethical point of view in any new application in medicine, including AI. And I was the speaker for the third talk and I explained how far we are already or where we will go in the next months and years to implement AI in our hematological clinic from the diagnosis to treatment plans to patients follow up. So this is a complete scenario of where AI is today and will be quite soon hopefully in our routine use as well.